All right, welcome back to Physio Rehab. Now today's daily rehab session is about the hammies and this is to give you a few more options, some exercises to do at home. They're not just deadlifts or single leg deadlifts, but working on the hamstrings, the long forgotten hammies to try and get you some strengthening. Now, if you're not in the gym or all you do is work out at home, then all you need really is a Swiss ball and perhaps one of these bands or something to give you some sort of resistance. Now I'm gonna go through four things, well, three things plus, plus one, that's a little bit of an extra, to try and get you working in getting these hamstrings stronger and also working on a sort of a rehab stability type sort of theme going on, so it's not just about muscle strengthening. Now the first one I'm gonna get you doing is trying to work on some closed chain hamstring work, which is very good for sport, but it's almost like, you know, like the deadlift does closed chain. Well, this is trying to work on some closed chain work here. Now, it's pretty easy to set up. I've just rigged it around this pole here. You could be uh, on a lounge room and a dining room table, something that's solid, that's not gonna move. And this is just a mini power band. Now you can use a Thera band, you can use any other sort of stretchy band you like, just so it gives you something to give you some resistance. Now, the Swiss ball I'm on, I'm gonna go down into a bridge position. So I'll show you without the band, then I'll show you with the band. So you're gonna be in this position here in a hip thrust, hip extension bridge position. All right, so that position there has gotta be maintained. And what you're gonna be doing is obviously going back and forth with the ball. Now what that's doing is knee flexion and we're gonna use your hammies. Now without the band, there's not much going on here. So what you gotta do is use the band and that will give you that resistance. Now what you have to do to pull on the band and roll the ball, you have to use your hammies and do knee flexion. Now, this one here, just make sure that band is strong enough that you can pull it in, it's nice and stable, into that position there. Okay, so you go up into your bridge, and then you work on flexion that way. Now, what you'll find is when you go forward, you'll want to sort of drop down because it's quite hard. So you've got to try and keep up here and really get the glutes on to push your hips up into extension. The beautiful thing about this is you're also gonna use a bit of upper hamstring. So for those people who've got tendinopathies right up the top of the hammy at their origin point, this is really good for you. So here you go, into here, and you're gonna go from knee extension to knee flexion of there, and slowly back. Now, for those who are under condition, it's pretty brutal on the hamstrings, so just be careful how strong this band is so you don't cramp up a little bit. Right? But you're aiming for around about sort of at least eight reps, maybe even up to 12, of trying to get forward and back without dropping your hips. So really remember that when you come into this position here, you've really got to use those glutes and squeeze up into there, and then keep your body up as you roll back, and the same thing as you roll forward. So nice and slow, and back. Just watch the back pain with that. Make sure you're not going to hip extension. That's a really good one to start working on, but it's pretty brutal if you're not conditioned, so be careful as you start. Like I said, light band, move with a heavier band to increase the load, right? Now that's your closed chain one. All right, second exercise for your hammies is trying to mimic what you're doing in the gym. Now those people who like using machines and they do the sitting hamstring curl machine, then this one's for you. Now it works on open chain, works in a sitting position, you might think, oh, you should probably be doing that in standing for sport. But this way, when you're on the ball, it's really hard for your stability in your, in your spine. So trying to do it on a ball is actually quite a good thing for your actual stability. So it cuts down how much load you need to put through here. So it's working on a little bit more hamstring and pelvis spinal stability at the same time. I think this is nice for rehab. So what I'd do, and it, you know, if you're one of these people who's recovering from a hamstring tear, maybe you've had some tendinopathy in your hammies, this is the sort of thing you want to be start working on. Especially if you've, you know, if part of this problem is because you've got a bit of a dysfunction in your lower back and maybe the hammies are overusing or your glutes are weak, start getting to this sort of thing when you're rehabbing your hammies. Now, when you're doing this, make sure don't slouch in this position because your core is not going to be very active. So try and get yourself into that neutral spine right up into here. Tighten that core on here. And for this exercise, because you're doing more of a strength thing, sort of athletic type thing, you're allowed to put on a bit of brace. Don't just rely on your pelvic floor and low level stuff. Brace it a little bit as long as you can breathe so you're more rigid, more stable in there so you can transmit power effectively through the hammy. There's nothing worse than a sort of a, a lazy spine when you're pulling on this band because you'll leak energy through the system. So try and keep upright, try and keep core 
on here and breathe. And then what you're doing is you try and let that go into extension and then pull it into here. Now that will start off pretty easy depending on the band load. And so you just got to try and then not use your hands and work on this concentric, eccentric work here. Okay. As you get better, that band can get tighter and tighter. You might go up and grades that band. You might step away from the band. That's the easiest thing to do. Just make the band longer. So all of a sudden there's more drag here. So you've got to also work up. You'll, stop, you'll find because there's a drag there, there's an equal sort of load here. So I'm actually working not just on my hammy. I'm working on my spinal extensors and my core to try and stay upright in a rigid position here. So think of this sort of exercise is training two things at the same time. Now for people who have got, like I said, hamstring problems with the lower back problem, perfect. And you're only sitting for a short amount of time, so it's okay to be sitting. And that sort of exercise is really good entry level stuff. Now the third one is doing hamstrings on the ball. Now again, you're back in a supine position, but instead of your shoulders being on the ball, feet on the ball. You might have seen this one quite a lot. Now this is the one I'm gonna give you a bit of a spin on. You're going to go and do two leg work, right? And you've got to be really good at your spinal position with this one. And it is hard on the hammy, so it's more of an advanced exercise. But then we're going to take it one step further and try and work on your single leg hamstring work. Because most people, when they've got hammy problems, it's one side more than the other. So this will give you a chance to work on two sides. Once you get that stronger, then work on single sided work, which is way more sports, sports specific for you. So, you I mean, this is not entry level, this is hard stuff, but the first part of this exercise, obviously that's a less of a demand is two legs. And that's where you're gonna come up into your bridge, okay, so like a glute bridge. From there, you've really gotta maintain your pelvis up in that position by using those glutes. So you've already gotta get those on, okay, core's on here. And all of a sudden, you're just gonna try and bend your knees, and that will use your hammy here, okay, big time. So. When you go outwards, don't let your pelvis drop. Keep it up. Pause there. Keep that on. Pull it in. And I'll try and go on a ratio of a little bit slower this way and a little bit quicker that way. Okay, right up into there. Watch your cramping. Slow that way. So what I mean by your pelvis level is when you come up into here, when you lower, don't lower there. Okay, at the same time, if this goes out, You've got to keep that up. When you pull in, don't lower either, all right? Otherwise, you're cheating yourself. So coming up into there, letting go. And I'd go again, same sort of rep range. Eight to 12, two or three sets. Remember, don't do too much because if you're going to go to the single leg work, you're going to over fatigue. So the second part of that is, is trying to go onto a single leg. Now, the best thing you can do is go eccentrically on one leg, concentrically on two to sort of graduate yourself into that position. So here, where you were doing your hammy curl, right, is now what you do is when you come up into here, take one leg off and lower it back, put the other leg on, reset, pull it in, there's the easy part, swap legs. Take it back, there, reset here, pull it in. Now the reset part, Stops you getting that back pain, okay? Stops you overloading through here. To come in here, because otherwise you tend to start using your back too much, not your glutes. So you reset your glute, pull in, two, one up, take one back, our leg down, okay? Now that's, again, <laughs> all these are pretty brutal, but that one, if you're not conditioned at, is going to be pretty tough on your hammy. So just make sure you're fully warmed up. And like I said, that is an advanced thing. It's not an entry level hamstring training this is more moderate to advanced work so make sure you've done all your low level stuff to build up that strength to handle these positions first see how that goes see you next time